Hello, Akron fans! Welcome to an exhibition match with Chatterfree 33 The commentator who is seeing a match between Google Frog and Cubay on Finn's Revenge. So let us begin. Google Frog is starting out at the southwest corner of the map, and Cubay in the northeast corner of the map. Cubay is going for very quick metal. Both players going for the metal first, but Google Frog getting in. 50's operations plant a little bit unusual, but. Gunship plant for Cube, so Amphibious Operation Plant is going to be interesting on this map. Normally you'd go for hovers on this map because of the amount of water. Gunships can also work with the water. Amphibious as well can work, though Amphibious is a little bit different because they're slower. They are considerably slower. And that means it's... You can do a lot of damage, but you have to be a bit more careful about how you approach because they are going to be able to see you. They have radar, which Cube now does. They will be able to see what's going on. Cubay actually getting energy a bit earlier than metal. Looks like Google Frog is Emorphous Commander, Beam Laser, E Cell. As Cubay did, though, he did not have a Beam Laser. As I mentioned last time this happened, Beam Lasers are great for defense, but they are not strictly necessary, which means you can drop them to save metal from Morph if you really don't get that E Cell fast, that 6 energy income. And Cubay focusing very heavily on wind generators, taking advantage of the cheap cost, and they are working out in terms of power generation. They're generating as much power as a solar plant, which is what you want them to do. Solar plants deal... they cost 70 metal and they generate 2 power reliably, while wind generators generate anywhere from about 0 0.1 to 2.5, depending on the map, depending on where it is, but Finn's Revenge is pretty good for wind. So they are dealing consistently... or not dealing. They are generating consistently 2 energy. They're not dealing 2 energy. There's... they're not damaging units. And it's stuff coming in here for Google Frog doing nothing. Cube able to fend it off. Google Frog are fully aware now that Cube is going for gunships and getting a defender. That might not be enough, but one defender is still something. His beam laser commander will help. And Cube about to get in. Google Frog is setting up a small terraform platform and building a razor's kiss on top. That will be much better, but it's a little bit too late. Here comes the first Banshee and Blastwing set. Banshees are not going to be doing too well. They are going straight to the factory, however, not going for Google Frog at all. The Ducks able to help out with the, the Blast Wings. Not even care about the commander, just dropping the factory, and that's really the best thing to go for. The factories are key targets. I mean, commanders early on are great for economy, but if your opponent has no factory, if they've lost their plot factory, that means they have to spend a minute rebuilding it. This early in the game, it's going to take about a minute. They don't have a lot of... I mean, Google Frog has no builders at this point, especially he's going for Amphibious, which means he is... He has a lot of expensive units to build. Okay, all of his units are going to be quite expensive. His cheapest unit is 150 metal. That's the thing. With many other factories, the cheapest unit is going to be around 40, 50 metal. Even gunships, the cheaper units are 55 and 90, though admittedly one of those being the Blastwing, a suicide unit. Regardless, Google Frog basically can't build a lot of builders at this point. His commander's main build is his main builder. But if he loses the factory, that's huge. If he loses the commander, he could rebuild builders. It'd be inconvenient, but he could do it. But if he loses the factory, then Cubay can just take the game, because there's going to be basically nothing Google Frog will have to defend. The Google Frog is sending out some units around the side. His archers are around the side coming in here, and Cubay should be able to see it. He is able to see it on radar. If we look from his point of view, we do have radar coverage of those units, and Cubay definitely going for that. He's aware of this. Getting his Banshees over there while you a couple more units come in for Google Frog. Google Frog able to deal a bit of damage with the archers, but they aren't that great for damaging. They're really more for pushing. Their damage is, is okay, but it's not as good as you might like. However, an Angler is coming up. Amphibious Anti-Air Bot. That's exactly what Google Frog wants. And Google Frog should also probably consider... Well, actually, really, at this point, the composition is great. I mean, Ducks are... Wonderful for dealing with ground targets, because they're high alpha damage. They deal a lot of damage in the initial strike. They don't have a great rate of fire, but as long as you can avoid having them hit in the meantime, then a group of them will tear apart anything. And it looks like these archers are going long towards these tidal generators. Haven't quite reached them yet, and no, they are not. They are in fact going onto land. They are not seeing this. I don't think Google Frog is aware of that, straight point of view. No, he is just barely now maybe aware of it. And at the same time, the Ducks have met up with the Banshees. Now, I think the Ducks, as I mentioned, they're great against ground, but the Banshees, with a consistent rate of fire, the beam weapons really make short work of the Ducks. They just don't have... I mean, the, gun, the Banshees are dealing consistent damage on that. 
And like I said, the duck's mean weakness is rate of fire. Finally, a, a clan builder being built up for Google Frog getting another Razor's Kiss. Focus very heavily on defense, and so far both players are actually about even for economy. Neither has decided to expand too much. Now, Google Frog is getting rid of these title generators with the duck. Nothing that Cubay can do about this right now. He has no units to deal with this. The archers can't really do too much. They aren't actually useful underwater. Their main use underwater is recharging their water, which is their primary ammo. A bit unique that way. It's actually kind of neat. Unit under attack. Archers have to fill in with water and water and then fire it out. I believe they do regenerate their internal water store slowly outside of water, but they generate much faster when they're in water. And the Banshee is actually going to be falling down. The archers... The archers will help take care of it, because archers and banshees do have the same rate of fire. So there's at least something there. It's just the ducks, like I said, a large enough group of ducks will be fine. They'll be able to basically one-shot two or three banshees at a time. Although I think they will end up firing at one at a time. And Cubay switching towards the more commonly used hovercrafts, while Google Frog staying with amphibious bots. I think Cubay's actually switched off gunships entirely. He's not building any more gunships, which is fine. The point of gunships and air early start usually is... Watch the mention after the battle. So, Banshees are actually getting rid of everything. The archers are still not quite powerful enough to take him out. Google Frog lost an angler in that, I believe. No, he lost a couple of ducks. He didn't lose an angler at that point. The angler was still in the water, but... Now, this is what archers do well. Pushing away units. Especially hovercrafts. They don't have a whole lot of friction on them, so they get pushed away heavily. But... The thing with... Anyway, I was saying, the thing with the... The thing with the gunships in air is that when you build them, you're kind of building them so that your opponent has to build air defenses. Once your opponent has spent money on air defenses, then they're going to be unable to spend as much money on ground defenses, and you can just switch to ground, and now they have defenders are useful, but raises to kisses and such, they aren't going to be effective against your ground units. And then you switch off to a ground factory, and that's exactly what QBA is doing. Google Frog, on the other hand, staying with Amphibious, which is working okay, but really not that well. The amount of Cubay is just able to get that much more units around. He's getting able to get more map control. Yeah, they aren't individually as powerful, but he's still managing to do quite well. The archers nicely surfacing to get rid of these hovercrafts. The thing with the C, as I mentioned before, is that hovercrafts and amphibious bots can't really hit each other when they're both in the water. Amphibious bots have only weapons that can hit other underwater or in-water units. And hovercrafts have nothing to hit anything underwater. So it's completely mutually exclusive. Similarly, gunships can't can also not hit anything underwater, though. Many amphibious bots, such as the archers, can in fact surface in order to attack things on the surface of the water or above the water. And Duck here is not, well, once again, not going to do too well. Not surprising, the scrubbers are actually more expensive. Well, a pair of scrubbers is about the same cost as a duck, so for cost, that works out. Yeah, this is the thing with amphibious bots is that they have a lot of really individually strong units. If you get a large group of them, it's great. If you have a small amount of them, they're good for raiding, especially if you can pop back in and out of the water. But Google Frog, he does have a large group going along the east side. That will be helpful. These Banshees will be going down, actually. They will not have a chance. The Ducks will tear them apart before anything comes up. I don't think any Ducks will be lost in the process. Maybe, maybe just this one. No, not even that. Oh, just barely. Cubay able to get rid of that one Duck. But at this point, Cubay is focused heavily on his ground. He is focused heavily on Hovercrafts. He's focused heavily on the Maces. Focused heavily on the... Actually, the Scrubbers, not so much. But they are trying to raid. However, Google Frog wisely knowing that Cubay going for the standard air-to-land switch sets up defenses against land, though in both cases neither players have expanded too much. Google Frog does have, well, he has some defense over here just in case Cubay tries to expand to the island, but neither player has really expanded beyond their main starting point. Just now Cubay is starting to get another metal extractor and Google Frog himself got one a few minutes ago. Middle of the map we see that the ducks are being put to the test here and not doing too well. Mace is being riot units, able to get rid of well, raiders like that without too much issue, and it seems fire rate really is coming up a lot as we see. Cube having entirely used continuous fire units except for the the scrubbers, which get enough of them that it didn't matter. It's definitely been working out. There just hasn't been enough enough alpha strike damage from Google Frog's forces to take them out in time. Maces, of course, also being quite tough units, being that they are meant to deal with lots of raiders. That doesn't help either. They are about three times as much health as ducks. They have about twice as much health as the archers, and they are basically able to get rid of any of them without too much issue. Though the archers... Hmm. Archers, once again, they are a weird unit because of their 
pushing tendency, because they can push units out of the way. They can push the mace out of range, but the problem is they also will push it out of range of the duck. The duck be out of range of the mace, the mace be out of range of the duck. Wouldn't work too well for either side. And it looks like Hubei has been expanding along the southwest, or northwest side of the map, and a bit along the southeast side as well, with the northwest being much more successful, and Google Frog at the same time focusing heavily on overdrive, rather than focusing heavily on expansion. He has only... Actually, he just lost another tractor right down there. And also Reclaim. That's his main source of income has been Reclaim and Overdrive. Though he is starting to expand himself such that he can at least be aware of what's going on. Getting radar around the map. So right now, Google Frog has, for radar coverage, about half of the sea. And he does know about this island here. He's found out about that island. He should be attacking it fairly soon. Not sure many he has to with which to do that, though. He does have a fairly large group in the center. Whether or not he chooses to use that will be will be interesting, but still. And I should point out that boys are being built up now. These these units have a slowing weapon. They are primarily useful above water, though in the water they have to get on the surface to fire, which does help them against maces somewhat, though really it's... There we go. Okay, so the maces are being transferred in by Valkyries. They are... Actually, looks like I might help them out. If, I believe slow does reduce fire rate, which... I don't think actually really matters for continuous damage units like maces. Oh no, it does, actually. From the looks of it, they can't actually... It does lower their fire rate, so it does decrease the amount of damage they do, which would put things on par with the ducks somewhat. At this point, however, Google Frog has continuously gotten a larger and larger army, kept them hidden and defended very nicely with the units he has in Hubei. While he is expanding a fair amount, he's not expanding as much as would really help. So he's still... He's still pushing a lot, he's still getting a lot of money, but not really as much as you'd expect. There's an 11-minute 11 11 mark in the game, and... Hubei at this point has only about... Well, he still has these... He could expand here, he could... Actually, oh, he can't really expand here. Google probably expanding there. And Google Frog has basically not expanded around his side of the map at all. But, well, that's... That's pretty much going to bite Cuba in the butt right now, because Google Frog coming in along the west side of the map, and there's nowhere that Cuba can really go that Google Frog isn't aware of now. Google Frog having to deal with some transports, but the transports not really have a lot of units in them, just sort of distracting his forces. Now that they're gone, it doesn't really matter. At this point, Google Frog basically coming in for the kill. One more maze coming up for Cubay, but he spent a lot of money on this fusion reactor that is pushing up his power production, that is pushing up his overdrive quite a lot. His metal extractors are producing three times as much as they would normally, but even then, it's just not enough when you consider that Google Frog has his entire army set up now. He has the buoys to slow this thing down for his ducks to get in. The maces will be slowed right down. The buoys will be able to take that out. The ducks will be able to finish them off, and... I don't even think he's going... No, yeah, there he is. There he is going for that. And if any more air comes in, the anglers will finish them. Let me just double check the buoy range. Where, yes, actually... Oh, there we go. So the buoys outrange the maces. The, the chat was mentioning that... The chat was mentioning that buoys would be a counter to maces. It seems to be because of their range. I, I apologize. Amphibious is not played very often. That's the thing to point out. Amphibious is a very rare factor we've seen, especially in movie one. But it is it is what we're seeing here, and it is working out very nicely. Though what we saw, very clear message that amphibious spots need to be played somewhat defensively. You need to be very careful about not losing units. But once you have a larger army, they are extremely powerful. Able to get rid of pretty much anything. It's one of the scalpels that Kubei was using. They're basically very much like the ducks. They're powerful, homing shot low rate of fire units. Now at this point, Cubay is also getting attacked from the northwest side of the map, and is throwing in the towel! There we go! That is the game! So I will have another game, also between Google Frog and Cubay, coming up fairly shortly. Stay tuned.